Hi, this is Kanna Babu. This is part 2 of Ajax. In the last video I discussed about uh, the architecture of Ajax and what is the difference between synchronous model and asynchronous model. In this video we will discuss how to work with Ajax controls. So in order to work with Ajax in an easy manner, Microsoft has introduced ASP.NET Ajax. And here they introduce some controls which are called as Ajax controls. These controls are divided into two parts. One is client centric controls, the other one is server centric controls. And these controls by default when you install your Visual Studio editor, by default the server side controls will be available under your toolbox. Once when you go to your toolbox, go to view, there you can find a toolbox. Once when you open your toolbox, there you can find Ajax extensions. Under Ajax extensions, you are having five server side controls like script manager, script manager proxy, timer control, update panel and update progress. These are the five controls which are called as server side controls. And if you want to work with some client side controls, there are a lot of controls that are available which are called as client side controls. In order to work with uh, client centric controls or client side controls, here we need to download the Ajax control toolkit dot dll file then we have to import that dll within your toolbox see here i already downloaded the ajax control toolkit i will try to import that one so here right click on the ajax extensions here you can select choose items here click on browse and here you can go to the desktop i already saved that one in my desktop with the name ajax control toolkit dot dll is it clear now click on ok button then all the controls are added within your toolbox. Here you see. Under Ajax extensions, all the client centric controls are also added. By default, only server side controls are available. Script manager, script manager proxy, timer, update panel and update progress. Remaining all Ajax controls, we have to import by downloading the Ajax control toolkit.dll file. Is it clear? Now, whenever you are working with Ajax, the first control we need to discuss is script manager. Is it clear? So, what is script manager? Script manager is a server side control which is responsible to generate the client side code to make the ASP.NET web page as Ajax enabled. So, whenever you are working with Ajax, the first control that you have to use is script manager because the script manager is responsible to make the which portion of the page must be handled by Ajax engine. So, it is responsible to decide that which portion of the web page must be rendered for the asynchronous request. And there can be only one script manager within a web page and it should be the first control that we have to make a note. Is it clear? And uh, the main purpose of script manager is responsible to generate the complete JavaScript code for Ajax implementation. Is it clear? It will uh, provide the Ajax features for the entire web page. So now first of all I want to introduce a control that is text box watermark extender. So here now I want to introduce a control that is text box watermark extender. Actually this control will add the watermark text or watermark behavior to the uh, text box control. Generally in Ajax there are two types of controls are there. One is extender controls, other one is non-extender controls. Extender controls are generally used to, we cannot directly work with extender controls. If you want to work we have to um, attach this extender controls to any of the ASP.NET controls. Non-extender controls will provide some default functionality and we can work with non-extender controls individually. So there are a lot of extender controls are there. First of all I am introducing text box watermark extender. It is used to display the watermark text within the text box. So first I will go to the toolbox. There I will try to drag and drop. Whenever you are working with Ajax the first control you have to use is script manager. So drag and drop script manager and here I will try to drag and drop one text box control. Here I will try to go to the standard controls. There I will go to drag and drop one text box control. And in order to work with uh, whenever you simply drag and drop the controls and automatically the code is available within the source code. Here you see when I drag the script manager ASP colon script manager ID is equal script manager one run it is equal server close the ASP column script manager. Similarly, now I want to attach this uh, uh, te uh, text box watermark extender to the text box control. So select the text box, select ellipse button. 
add extender there you can select text box watermark extender just click on ok that's it and here once when you go to the source code then automatically the code is generated for text box watermark extender cc1 child control and uh, the script manager will work like a parent control and id is equal to some id run it is equal to server and target control id this is the important property target control id means we need to mention the control name for which we are applying this ajax control so i am applying this text box watermark extender to text box one and there is one more property that is available called watermark text if you want you can write the property here watermark text is equals to i will write something like enter username then a watermark text will be displayed watermark text is displayed within the text box here you see when i keep the cursor within the text box then the text will disappear when i remove the cursor the text will appear this is the feature of what text box watermark extender you can see this uh, uh, implementation in lot of websites real time websites also and here there is one more property for the text box watermark extender that is watermark css class so if you want to apply any styles for this uh, watermark text you can apply so here i will try to go to the header tag and here i will write style tag i will try to apply css style type is equals to text slash css and here i will try to apply class as selector we can apply the styles in three ways in uh, cascading style sheets one is uh, tag as selector other one is uh, id as selector another one is class as selector tag as selector means you can apply the style based on tag name for example if i try to open h1 tag i want to apply the style based on what tag name here i will write something like color colon red i will try to apply is it clear and here i will try to write the background background hyphen color colon yellow i will give is it clear so this is uh, i am applying the style based on tag name within the div tag i will try to open h1 tag and here i will write welcome to ajax welcome to ajax i will write now here you see go to the design and check then automatically the style is applied for h1 tag that is how you can work with uh, tag as selector id as selector means you can apply the style based on what control id the syntax is hash h2 bracket open bracket close here i can write property name property name i'll give color color colon yellow i will give and here i'll give background hyphen color background hyphen color colon red i will give i'll give the reverse colors and here i will try to uh, open one more tag h2 tag h2 tag and i'll give the id for the control id is equals to something like uh, some uh, a i will give and uh, now here the control id also i will try to give as hash a or if I'm, we are applying the style based on the control id and here i will try to display some uh, uh, text here something like uh, text box watermark extender text box watermark extender demo i will try to give i want to apply this style for uh, h2 tag that is based on id as selector now go to the design you can see tag as selector means apply the style based on tag name that is the element name id as selector means apply the style based on control id now i want to apply class as selector class as selector means apply the style based on class name the syntax is dot dot some uh, class name you can give something like uh, txt style i will give some name any name you can give bracket open bracket close and here i will try to give color color colon i will give as green and here i will give background hyphen color background hyphen color i will try to give as uh, purple is it clear similarly if you want you can give border is it clear border i will give some style okay anyway that is class as selector and i want to apply that style for my watermark text so here you are having a property called watermark css class is equals to what is the class name i have given txt style so here you mention the class name here you mention the class name txt style is it clear now that style was applied for that text debug and check the output see here the text is applied enter username if you want to view that one in a better manner i will change the color as yellow here i will try to give the color as yellow
is it clear on city bug so we can apply the styles in three ways one is tag as selector id as selector and class as selector now here you see when you try to keep the cursor within the text box the text will disappear and you can uh, try uh, mention the username here is it clear when you remove the text then automatically the watermark text will appear first one i applied as id as select, uh, tag as selector second one id as selector third one class as selector this is so the next control i want to introduce is calendar extender control is it clear so let us see here what is calendar extender control it will directly display the calendar within the text box so here go to the toolbox i will try to as we already discussed that the extender controls you cannot directly work if you want to work you have to integrate that control within your asp.net controls so drag and drop the text box add extender there you can select the calendar extender click on ok and here go to the source code then automatically the code is generated target control id is equals text box 2 we are applying calendar extender control for text box 2 is it clear simply debug and check the output now a calendar control will be displayed within the text box whenever user hold the cursor within the text box and when you select the date the date will be automatically displayed within the text box i hope you understood right in some scenarios i want to display the calendar when user clicks on button control so here within the calendar control what i will do i'll go to the toolbox i'll try to drag and drop one image button control from my toolbox and here I will try to, before that I will try to add the image in my solution explorer. Right click, add new folder. The name of the folder I will give as images. The name of the folder I will try to give as images. Images. Right click on images folder. There you can see add uh, existing item. Existing item means you can select some image. Here I will go to the pictures, I will select some image and i will try to select the image button go to the properties image url i will try to select the images and i will select the image here now for this you can mention the height as 20 i will give and for the same image you can get the width also now i want to display the calendar when user clicks on the image button so there is one property within the calendar action control the property is something like pop-up button id pop-up button id is equals to the control id what is the control id image button one now my calendar will be displayed when user clicks on what image button is it clear let us see here debug and check the output here the calendar will be displayed when user clicks on image button now the calendar is not displaying the calendar control will display when user clicks on the image button that is how you can work with calendar extender control in this video we discussed about script manager text box watermark extender and a calendar extender control for more videos you can subscribe to my youtube channel and the facebook group in the next part we'll discuss some other videos thank you have a nice day